fumed. Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris came under fire from Jacques Villeneuve in a throwback row. Lewis Hamilton suffered disaster yesterday in qualifying for the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix, being knocked out of Q1 in his Mercedes. The seven-time champion blamed the shock result on the balance of the car as he struggled for pace. He will now have to battle from towards the back of the field to try and redeem himself. After qualifying, Hamilton said, I don't know how different the cars are set up but the car was undrivable with the setup I chose. But it's my own fault, I made some setup changes. I don't know if that was everything to do with it, but it was very unstable. I don't what I'm going to be able to do tomorrow, but him a long way back. Mercedes look off the pace at the start of the 2022 season, meaning Hamilton's performances could come under the microscope. The Briton will be looking to avoid a situation like in 2019 when he raged at former world champion Jacques Villeneuve. The Canadian said today's drivers spend so much time in the simulator that they don't fear crashing like previous generations did. He said, instead of letting the young drivers test, they sit for a week in the race simulator. When they get to the racetrack, they behave as if they're still in the simulator. It is not the same stress as it used to be. It does not bring the same adrenaline. The assessment of danger, of the enormous risk that they take when they go to the racetrack, is no longer the same. The comments angered Hamilton and McLaren star Lando Norris, however. Responding to Villeneuve, Norris said at the time, I don't think it's got anything to do with sim racing. It's just something he maybe wants to use as an excuse for it. Safety is getting much better, especially compared to when he would have been racing. It's not like we completely forget it. We don't go flat out and not care about anything. We still realize what danger is. Everything is getting safer, so sometimes you take more risks than at other times. I don't know what happened on the weekend, and I don't want to talk about it, but I'm sure it wasn't anyone doing anything stupid or risking anything. I think it was something small that turned into something pretty big. I don't think it's because we're younger, more fearless, less fearless. It's unlucky. That's about it. Hamilton also dismissed Villeneuve, adding, I don't really agree with a lot of the opinions of that individual and I don't know if anyone does. I personally don't listen to that individual's opinion. But, on the simulator link, I don't think so. If you look at the kids on the ski slopes, from small up they have no fears and it is the same with us race drivers, whatever age. I am sure as you get a bit older it, fear, creeps in, but the simulators don't make you more or less fearful. I don't agree with that, no. Villeneuve's comments came after the death of F2 star Anthony Hubert, who sadly lost his life in Belgium after a crash at the Spa-Francorchamps circuit.